in this video, you will see how to add results to your project, how to add a logo and URL to the project card, and how to submit for review. Your project has been published in the EAC dissemination platform. You have received an email notification inviting you to update, add results and related attachments. Click on the Beneficiaries Dashboard link. In order to get access to the Beneficiaries Dashboard, you have to log in using your ECAS username and password. When logging in for the first time, a pop-up will appear. Click on the hyperlink Terms and Conditions in order to read and agree. Please pay particular attention to the copyright clauses. By clicking yes, this message will not appear anymore. However, you can always find the Terms and Conditions document under Useful Links. This is the Beneficiaries Dashboard. Here you have a list of projects that you are responsible for. You can view the current status of your projects, which will change when the end date of your project has been reached and in case your project results need to be modified. So it will help you follow the state of your project. Until the end date of your project, the status will be Open for uploading results. In order to edit the project card, click on the Edit icon. You are now ready to complete your project card. You can add or modify your logo. You can add or modify the URL field. Type the full address starting with www. The other fields can't be edited. Save the changes by clicking on Save. In order to start adding results, click on the Results tab. To add a new result, click on Add Result. Type a title and provide a description for the result. Once you click on Save, the new result appears in the list of results linked to your project. You can create as many results as you wish by repeating the same steps. You are now able to perform three different actions on each result, such as edit, delete and attach files by clicking on the icons. Let's delete one result. Click on the delete icon and confirm. The result is deleted and will no longer appear in the list. Attach files relating to the project result by clicking on the Add Attachments icon. This will allow you to browse for files on your PC and select the ones you wish to upload. You can repeat the step as many times as required, adding different attachments for the same result. If you wish to delete one attachment, click on Remove. In order to upload the attachments, click on Upload Files. Click OK. In the Files column, you see how many attachments have been uploaded for each result. Select the result to display its attachments. Please note that the Save and Submit button is inactive until the end date of your project is reached. Don't forget to save your project card to ensure you don't lose any of the information. Click on Save. Saving changes will allow you to come back and continue the modification of your project card at any time. When the end date of your project has been reached, the status of your project will change from Open for uploading results into Available for submission after all results uploaded and the Save and Submit button will now be activated. So let's view a project with the status Available for submission after all results uploaded. As you can see, the Save and Submit button is activated because the end date of your project has been reached. 
it's still possible to change or delete existing results and attachments or add new results and attachments. Notice that you are able to upload various types of files. Now you're able to submit your results for validation by an officer. Once you click on Save and Submit, a pop-up will appear. Click Yes if you are sure that your results are ready to be submitted, or No if you want to further elaborate on your project card. Before you click Save and Submit, ensure that your results are ready to be published. Check that you comply with copyright rules for all results to be published and that you have uploaded all the results you would like to submit, because once you click on the Save and Submit button, you will no longer be able to make any further changes and your project will disappear from your dashboard. Once the officer has approved or rejected your changes, you will receive a formal message from the national agency with which you signed the grant agreement notifying you that the modifications have been approved or rejected. If your changes are rejected, you will have to follow the instructions provided by the officer in the rejection message. Thank you for watching. You can find out more on our website www.erasmusplus.org.uk